For those of you who are taking writing workshop this semester, I want to uh, explain how we're going to be working with the first essay that we worked on in Unit 1. I have uh, graded all of the essays, and I would like everyone to watch the video that I'm creating now first, explain kind of how we're going to deal with uh, the grades and uh, any follow-up actions uh, that need to be taken. I'll explain that in a minute. And so the first thing is to simply listen to this video in its entirety first. If you understand the instructions, if you understand uh, everything that I explained in this video, I'm going to ask everyone please to provide a thumbs up in this post in Microsoft Teams. This just gives me uh, an indication that you have in fact watched the video and there are no questions. Okay, so I really would like everyone to listen to this video, the instructions that I'm going to provide here today before I give you your results, before I give you your feedback for the first unit in, uh, for the first essay in unit one. Okay, so the first step is simply watch the video. And if you don't have any questions to uh, just, uh, just provide a thumbs up in Microsoft Teams. Now, if you do have any questions about the instructions themselves, not necessarily your essay, not necessarily related to your, your text, but if you have questions about the instructions that I'm providing here in this video, then you may uh, post those questions in Teams, and I'll try to clarify within the thread in Microsoft Teams before you then uh, give it a thumbs up just to let me know that you do understand. Uh, it's important that I want every I want everyone to understand the uh, the instructions before you get the feedback, before you get your grade, before you get uh, any comments from me about your text. That you understand kind of how we're going to deal with uh, the first essay. So once I have sent you the feedback, actually I'm going to send you three forms of feedback. Number one, the Grammarly report that we have been using, uh, giving you some some details about your text, some of the some of the feedback that, that are that's provided in the Grammarly report, you should take note. Some perhaps you can ignore. As always, if you're not sure, it's always best not to change it. If you're not sure what you're doing, if you're not sure what the what type of error it is or even how to fix it. Of course the that could be um a, a time that you ask questions or investigate a little bit further as to what they're referring to. Uh, but yeah, that's going to be one form of your assessment using the Grammarly report. The second is going to be in the form of a rubric. So you'll have the score with some descriptors. And the third type of feedback you'll receive is the Word document or the document itself with my comments. Now, I don't recall off the top of my head, I think almost everyone, I have a few comments. So in those cases, that's uh, going to be feedback that's more specific to the text yourself, uh, itself based on what we've been talking about in class in terms of uh, how to write an academic text. Okay, so you'll receive those three forms of feedback again after I receive all the thumbs up from everyone in Microsoft Teams. Now, the way we're going to deal with the grades, take a look at the grade that has been posted in Canvas for your essay. That's actually another form of feedback. So that would be four uh, forms of feedback. The grade itself in Canvas, if you're not happy with that grade, I'm going to give everyone an opportunity to redo the first essay for Unit 1 during the first week of exams week. Okay, so... I'm going to ask everyone if you do want to redo the the essay, you want to change your grade, you want to try to change your grade by redoing the essay, by modifying the essay based on the feedback that you received. I'm going to give everyone an opportunity to do that. But again, I'm going to ask that we dedicate the first week of exams week to make those changes. I'm going to ask, please, that you don't request um, a review or even ask questions about the specific questions about the essay until the first week of exams. Now, I will say that 
you can take in, you should take into consideration the feedback that you receive from the first unit when you're writing the third, uh, the second essay from unit three. You should take into consideration that feedback, and certainly ask questions about any aspect of your writing as it relates to the next essay that we're going to be working on in unit three. But I'm going to ask that. We wait until the first week of exams to uh, to submit or to redo your your essay or to submit your essay or to even ask questions about your your essay that we spend time that first week of exams to do that. Now the other aspect of the feedback, if you want feedback, you want uh, some additional feedback on the first essay from unit one during the first week of exams week. The only form of feedback will be through an online session, through a discussion, through us discussing and looking together at your text and having a conversation about your text. Okay, that's going to be the only form of feedback that's available that will be possible for the first essay. And this, again, is only for those who want to resubmit the first essay from Unit 1. Okay, so everything's going to be handled the first week of exams. The online sessions, the feedback online sessions that we have, our discussions, looking at your text, and uh, I can leave comments, and obviously we, I can give you uh, some suggestions verbally in those online sessions, and those also are going to be recorded. All sessions will be recorded, so you can go back and uh, check what was discussed. And... That's how I, I would like to work on our feedback. So we're not, um, I, I really, when we get into unit three, I really want to dedicate and put, draw all of our attention to the next essay for the, the new thesis that you're going to be creating and getting into the same process that we went through, a similar process that we went through in unit one, go through that same process again, but really zero in on the unit, the new essay that you're going to be writing but we'll have one week to, uh, to, uh, to reconsider or rework your unit, your essay from unit one. If you're happy with your grade, of course, there's nothing else to, to worry about. Um, and you don't, of course, have to resubmit it, but this is only for those who want a, uh, a second chance to improve their grade. Okay, so this is how I'd like for us to uh, address the feedback and work on our first unit. And again, please thumbs up this post in Microsoft Teams. I'm getting ready to post it. You can see it here on my screen. Uh, I'm going to insert a video into this post so you can watch the video within Microsoft Teams. But again, please give it a thumbs up if there are no questions about the instructions that I'm explaining in this uh, video. All right, so we'll stop there. And uh, again, if you do have any questions about the instructions that I'm uh, explaining in this video, feel free to post those uh, within the thread in Microsoft Teams and I'll address those questions. Okay, guys, we'll stop there and we'll see you in class.